it's time to play. And today what I want to do is show you how to create a basic biofuel power plant that can start your game and get you to tier three when you finally unlock your coal power plant. What this build presumes is that you've already uh, put a miner, smelter, and constructor on an iron mine and a miner and constructor on a concrete line so that you can th then build up iron plate and concrete. You're going to also need to have iron rod, cable, reinforced iron plate, and that will get you through the build. Now, a lot of this stuff is given to you when you first get started. Uh, first, I would put down a platform. So I'm going to choose a little bit of a level high ground here, and I'm going to send my platform out that direction. So I'm going to put just a one meter foundation here. In fact, I'm going to put a four meter foundation to get some height on it. And I'm going to control here and see if I can snap it, snap it to a grid. It's not wanting to cooperate very well. There we go. Now, once I have snapped it to a grid, I'm going to go ahead and go down to uh, one meter foundations and I'm going to hit zoop here so I can what I want to do is make this about, uh, probably about four wide. So let's get on top of that here. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put another level right here. Um, with four wide, you should be able to easily put a, a biomass burner right here. Now, what you want to do is you want to turn these so that your fort is facing inward. Because we're going to make, we're going to actually make a manifold and run the manifold right down the center here so that we can feed these hungry machines. And that's the key. You want to be able to feed the machines such that you um, don't have to keep coming back all the time. So let's let's uh, put a couple side by side there. We'll cut, put a couple side by side over here and we're gonna make sure they line up and make sure they have plenty of room for a, a splitter in between and it looks like it takes about one uh, platform per uh, machine. So I'm going to go over here then and, and grab my some more foundations and um, zoop those across and zoop those across. Uh, I want to put a couple more, uh, actually four more units here. We want to make a total of an array of eight or a manifold of eight units here. And I'll turn this around here and one there and one there. Okay, now I'm going to put splitters down the center because I'm going to feed these monsters uh, with um, with some form of biomass, which I'll get to here shortly. So I want a splitter and I want the input to be facing from me. And I'll back up here and put the next one here. And I'm going to fall off if I keep going backwards. So I'm going to jog over here and place this. Oh, what happened with that one? Okay, place this one here. And okay, got all the, the dash lines. Okay, very good. Now, um, I'm going to go ahead and put the conveyor belts in here. And I'm going to I'm going to model what you would have at the very beginning of the game, which means that I'm going to go ahead and over here choose the Mark One conveyors because you can easily do these with Mark One conveyors. None of them take so much supplies that Mark One conveyors isn't going to be big enough for you to do. So we're going to do a Mark One conveyor through all of these. There we go. Okay, and... And we're gonna go that way. Very good. And so, so now we've got our array of uh, machines and we've got that all set up. So let's go and add more conveyor belt. Pardon me. Let's add some more platforms. I'm sorry. Let's add some more foundations here so that we can continue building forward. Looks like we're going to run into a tree. 
and I'm going to need to get rid of some stuff in my bags in order to get rid of that tree. So I'll just I'll just uh, go right through the tree at the moment, so if you can see that here. Because the next thing really is quite narrow, because we're going to end up with a constructor right here in the center, facing inward. So I'm going to have a constructor here, and this constructor's sole purpose is to take the biomass that we make and convert it to solid biofuel. So I'm going to go ahead and put conveyor in there, 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 okay. Now here's where the interesting part comes, is we're going to go ahead and we're making another, uh, a merger now at the constructor there. Now we're getting the dash green lines. And we're then going to have another construct, three constructors side by side here next. And um, so production and three more constructors. Now the first one I'm gonna have output towards that. And so the first one I'm gonna put right here in the center and I'm gonna match it up right with that. Then I'm gonna put one right beside it. And one right beside that. And we're going to go ahead and get our conveyor belt. And I'm going to make it a, a right turn there. And then here to there. Okay, so this constructor here is going to make solid biofuel. And we're going to feed it biomass. Okay. Now, over here, these three constructors here create biomass out of mycelia. So if you have mycelia in the local area, you could leave, you could do that, or you could leave that one out if you want to just have the two. This one is going to create biomass out of wood. And this one will create biomass out of leaves. Okay. All right. Now the final step that makes this whole thing really work cool is you go ahead and you put three containers. And so I'm going to come down here to organization and choose a regular storage container because you'll probably have only a, a small storage container at this point. I'm going to put one right there. I'm going to line that one up with it, but I'm going to line it up with the port, which means they won't be exactly together, but they'll be close. Okay, then we're going to take the, another storage container and we're going to line it up with that and line it up with the... Um, there we go. Lined up in both places. You saw the... Uh, straight line lining it up with the other containers and the dash line showing that it goes into the constructor and there we go there and there and there and there okay now it's going to start uh, moving stuff out of the container into just the entrance to this and when we power it up it'll start working now the one secret about this though is that i've got to get at least one of these power plants working because if it's not working i can't power up the constructors and the machines yet so uh first thing i'm going to do then is uh i i need to put in a power pole so you'll have mark one power poles at this point i will then take now and get a power line here and go from there to there and there to there and I'll just connect all the, all the machines. Okay, so what makes all this work at this point is the fact that I will take and ah, I'm going to come up here so I can see it all happen. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and uh, Configure this biomass burner, and I'm going to put, oh, I'll put the 66 solid biofuel into here, and up it starts working. Also, I will come out here, and I will put the leaves 
in this far right container that I said was going to be for leaves. I'll put that in here. Okay. And I still have some more wood, obviously, because I, I just chopped down that other tree. I forgot about that. And so let, let's put that other wood here. And let's see. I, I see things working. Okay. And those are still red because those are still waiting for product. And it looks like I may have missed getting a, a conveyor belt in there. That happens sometimes. Okay, so we've got biomass going in there and solid biomass will come out of here shortly. There it goes, it's firing up. So let's, let's watch this happen. Okay, solid biomass going in there. And they'll split halvesies constantly. So the first two went into these first two here. And we've got one going into there. Notice both of those are green. And now that one's green. And now this one is green. And the far end one is green for some reason. So something got all the way back there already. Or either that, or that's the one. That's the one that I put the uh, solid biofuel in. Okay. So, notice, you know, we're using Mark One conveyors, and when we come back to this after a, a period of time, you will notice that that even though these conveyors are incredibly slow, um, the biomass burners consume it so slow that they're going to be plenty fast enough to feed uh, feed them all the way down. So we only have one more machine that's not fired up yet. And what you have here is a simple uh, power plant with biomass burners and containers that you can fill up as you, as you cut down trees and as you collect bush. And it'll keep on cranking until finally uh, after a while, it'll get to the point where you get coal and then these will kind of shut down on their own. So there it is. Simple machines, simple uh, setup. Connect it with the rest of the power grid as you build out the rest of the power grid and you've got more power than you will need until you get coal. So hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And frankly, if you become a member on YouTube or a subscriber on Twitch, you can also join us on Satisfactories, on our Satisfactory server and on our Minecraft server and have a lot of fun with the rest of the group that we've, that we've built up, the rest of our community. So hope to see you in one of those places and hope to see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye-bye.